I don't know who needs to hear this, but I gotta stop setting up things to wake up early because I am the last one to go to Formula Drift. <laughs> and it's five o'clock in the morning. So it's Thursday at three o'clock and I just figured I would skip all the transition work of like doing the airplane and hotel thing, even though I woke up 30 minutes before my plane was supposed to go off. And I thought I would start off by jumping right into what we're doing. We're here at Coru Works, which is a drifting shop here located near Atlanta. And they're doing a pre-meet where they're hosting a bunch of different professional drifters and things like that. And it's also a meet and greet, which is really, really cool. There's gonna be a taco truck. There's gonna be type S lighting, which are the ones that are sponsoring the event. You're gonna have Larry Chen here, Chelsea Denofa, T-Pain is showing up, I guess, which is a very exciting time. So since I'm here filming, I figured I'd also just be like the class and just help put things together and organize where I can. But I wanna show you a little bit around Coral Works and of course the people that help make it run. It's a super cool setup and I just love some of the cars that they're actually building. So don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like this run and gun style video or if you prefer me to sit down and talk. Obviously, I could use help on either one. And of course, please don't forget to check out alexmartini.net. Drop your email so that we can keep doing cool limited handmade drops. Let's go check out Coral Works. Favorite aftermarket uh, automotive product, uh, anything you can peel and stick <laughs> and stand <laughs> out. <laughs> So I'm mainly an uh, engine builder, minor fabrication, the crew chief for Nick Novak in FD. Okay. Um, so I'll be there. But that's kind of like the main thing, especially this year. This is our first year of Pro 1, and so it really takes up my whole year, like trying to make yeah. sure that car is on top. And then we just added another driver that we're working on in-house, Ben Hobson. Okay. And he's in Pro Spec, so between those two cars, it's pretty much my, awesome. my existence. There's so much organization to the chaos that you guys have going on yeah here. we try awesome. to keep it that way it's always on that line between chaos <laughs> <laughs> if i ever have kids they ain't going to college <laughs> Uh, I've got that red FRS outside. Oh, with uh, the we, RPF ones? Yeah, RPF okay. ones. Like Toyota will put a cage in it and put this like really nice like custom suede headliner in it uh -huh. and fire suppression and kill switch and like big floating rotors up front. It's a pretty gnarly little car, yeah. Sebastian. Sebastian, I'm Alex. Nice Thanks for you. letting me no prod and poke and ask questions and take video and... Anytime. There's I'm, no purpose to any of this. I'm just right. hanging out, so... I work here, so... Hell yeah. This is what I get to do. You guys all run ad vans, don't you? Oh, yeah. Ad vans are bolts? Yeah. Oh my god. Where's the rest of it? Uh, it's not like done as shit. The seats are right there. Seats are right there? Yeah. The back is right on top. You just like, throw it on? It's just not done. It looks great. Thanks, man. How long have you been working on it? Uh, like a little bit over two years. Two years? Yeah. It was done for a while. Paint? And then, uh, yeah, it's all paint. That's awesome. Yeah, I painted it all myself. That's probably the hardest part. Most people just wrap their shit. Yes. So I like all this weird like pattern stuff or whatever. Oh yeah. Like, I had to be, it's kinda hard. You know what that reminds me of? Like the low riding scene. A hundred foot. So do they just wait for each other at that yeah. entrance thing? Yeah. So it's not even five o'clock and it's already packing up. It's already busy. Two hours to go before the event actually officially opens and there's more cool cars here than I know what to do with, which tells me that being a car enthusiast in Wisconsin is probably one of the worst decisions you could possibly make in your entire life. But we're two hours out, I'm waiting for food, I'm waiting to have a drink to be completely honest because I am not driving, which means I can finally have a cold one. There's a margarita sitting in the fridge with my name on it, but I should probably drink some more water because this white face is gonna go pink really quick. This is probably the sickest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. But let's see how the rest of the cars go once they all show up. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites, like right now.
So the show started about 30 some minutes ago and it's pretty much busy. It's packed, there's cool cars absolutely everywhere. I'll show you a couple of them in the video as the whole video goes on. But of course, because the night is practically over, it's time to go have a couple drinks and maybe think about what tomorrow looks like. So let's go do that. day the official day for formula drift and i feel like georgia's weather is just as problematic and changing and hormonal as wisconsin's weather because it was supposed to be 66 and raining now it's 72 and windy but when we left it was 80 and no wind i, I just don't know what's happening but regardless we're here for the full day. It's gonna be really exciting. I'm really hoping my boy Mike Power takes home some dubs today. I know that he's been working super hard, but obviously the rest of the teams are as well. But I'm just a little bit partial to Mike because I know the boy and he gives great hugs. So we're gonna see how it goes. I know that this runs pretty much all night and Steve is off now working for Formula Drift for the day. Steve, why are we talking to your grandma? Because I, I was supposed to go visit her this weekend. What are you doing instead today? I'm mounting GoPros on Formula Drift cars at the start finish line. Uh, essentially being the uh, GoPro mounting production executive. If that's a title, I just coined it. So we're gonna go check out some cars, see if Mike will let me turn his on and uh, go from there. In case you're wondering what it's like going to a formula event, it's it's actually just like the county fair. There's food that's terrible for you. It's loud and obnoxious. There's odd smells. The only difference between the county fair and a formula drift event, quite honestly, is the fact that there's less risk in the toys and the carnival rides here than there is as an actual fair because the only thing that's really a ride is what's happening out there. Those are all people. My God. That's wildly busy. So Mike Power is going up next. I'm super excited for him. I want Mike to win it. I, that's just how I feel. Am I biased? Absolutely. Do I care about everybody else? Absolutely. But do I want Mike Power to win? Absolutely. So he's going to go up next. I'm going to see if I can jump on those golf carts so I can see him run the whole thing because it is... I can't see shit. So, wish me luck. Mike, take it up. Is there pizza? Yeah. Hey, you want and, uh, uh, Then he had to count to stay. Oh my he God. Break in the middle of the pizza We're review. Formula Drift pizza review. Player out of the track has his last throw with a clock on him as well. As is Valtteri Bottas. Thoughts, Alex? Really, really, really good. Yeah. It's like legitimately. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Bit of homemade dough, some nice woodwork from Rob Ross. That's like a seventeen dollar pizza. Then your basic Walmart ingredients make a real great pizza. Oh my God. This is why you go to Formula Drift. I'm officially convinced that if you actually go to a Formula Drift event, that you you have to find a group of people that are as awesome as these individuals right here that have fed us pizza, given us tequila, given us a little bit of whiskey are now making burgers, are teaching us more than we could probably ever know about random facts about this track because one of them works here. I mean, everything about this, this community at this event has been an absolute vibe. It is so awesome to watch and it's so exciting to be a part of. And I mean, just smiles all around. So the event's super cool, love it, but meeting all the people, definitely the coolest part of the whole thing. This is very difficult, and I'm super appreciative that he's doing this. I'm just rooting for him because I'm emotional.
Some stuff? I'm filming just a little. Oh, nice. I just wanted to see your beautiful face. Hi. Anything this is you'd my like face. To, anything you'd like to tell the group? Uh, I'd like to tell the group that Alex is a wonderful person. And I Stop. love him a lot. Stop it. And he's out here making moves and doing great things. So I wish him the best. You know, my success is is definitely important for me. But you know, I want to see so other good. people do so good. And this is one of the people I want to see Stop doing it. good Mike all the time. Mike smells so good. It's I a smell trick. Like in no, beer. you smell great, bro. <laughs>